Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a special day. Um, well, for one, we're doing March faves and fails because to, we had some. We had some in March. Man, did we have some. Um, starting with skincare. Um, I refound this and I love it. I forgot how much I love this. So this is the Earth to Skin Super Fruits Citrus Day Gel Cream. I got it at Walmart. It's um, it's so smooth. It, I love this stuff. It doesn't break me out. It's really gentle. It's really hydrating. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Anyways, today is a special day though because we are going down to Hollis, down to my friend's farm, and we are picking up our two turkeys. So we're going to pick up Daisy, and we're going to pick up um, Donkey. I don't know if, you, if you've been around on my channel from the beginning. You've seen Daisy and, and um, Donkey before, and they... <laughs> This one, this is from Elmis. This is a March favorite. This is the Super Food Priming um, Glow Moisturizer. I'm gonna use it today. And then we're gonna talk about one that was kind of a <clears throat> fail. So, favorite primer is definitely this Elmis one. It's so nice. I've been using it a lot this month. Um, this one from Evo Beauty, the Porefect Primer. It feels like glue on my face and it makes it feel like sticky. I don't like it. Um, so that was the fail. Lame, I know. The next favorite is the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. Sorry if I'm going fast. I just got to get out the door. I'm going to go get my birdies. I miss them. Um, and another favorite was the Sonia Kashuk Foundation Stippling Brush. I love this brush. It's so nice and big. I like how big it is. And I like this powder brush too. I freaking love this Sonia Kashuk Large Powder Brush. It's like ginormously large. I know. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A fail is this Alme powder. I don't like, it gets cakey on my skin and I just, it's in my best light and it's their pressed powder. It just is not for me. Um, yeah, it wasn't my favorite. <clears throat> my favorite, this is like a holy grail at this point, but I've been using it a lot this month, so it's my favorite this month. It's the Ipkin Moist and Firm BB Cream. A fail was this Honest Beauty foundation, cream foundation. I didn't like it. I ended up using it, and I, you know what? I also didn't like their eyeshadow palette. I ended up using it a couple more times, and it's just not for me. Um, the cream foundation is just too thick I feel and the eyeshadow palette just is lack it's lacking it's lacking something for me um I'm more I need more for my makeup and that was not I didn't like it <laughs> it was not worth it for me so I have them sitting over here because I don't know what this is a holy grail it's not it's it is a March favorite of course it's always a favorite because it's a holy grail but it's the um lift and luminate powder from number seven um and this powder brush from Sonia Kashuk I told you about it already it's freaking great I love it I didn't have um I didn't really have a new bronzer that I tried out this month that I loved um but I have been reaching for the Tarte bronzer um again more recently so I guess that would be my March favorite is <clears throat> this Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I've had it for a long time and I hit pan on it a while ago and I just, we moved and it got pushed to the back of my drawer and I kind of forgot about it and then I found it again and I, I just like the glow that it gives my skin. It is so, um, 
like sun-kissed and beachy and I miss that <laughs> so that's what I've been going in with oh this was a, uh, a blush this is a new blush that I really liked it's called Camille and it's from Eco Fabulous. It comes in this little tin. I got it in an Ipsy. It's super cute. And I like how like pinky and shimmery. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. But gentler. One that you don't see me use too often is this Violet Floss All of You Forever. And I actually love this palette. It is so just it's so nice um so i'm gonna go in with the shade wink and put that down first i am gonna go now i'm gonna go into the shade um infatuated i couldn't read that <laughs> infatuated Okay, um, yeah, so a lot of times I will go in with the Lovebird shade if I'm just running around, or the All of You shade, um, I don't usually go in with the All of Me just because it's very olive, um, but I like this All of You, so that's what we're going to go in with today. It's like this, um, cool toned, but So with these shadows, I found that you don't have to wet them to get this like foiled metallic look. If you just take your pinky and like press on your lid and pull and like swipe, it makes this like, don't pull hard. Obviously it's your eyelids. They're the most delicate part of your like skin. You don't, I'm not trying to make you have wrinkles here. I'm not trying to like, I'm not, this is not any ill feelings towards anybody. All I'm saying is like, if you're lazy as I am and you don't want to go get a wet brush, if you just take a little pressure and like, not hard, but like press down and then pulls to the side, just like swipe rather than pat, it like creates this foiled look. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. Nobody come at me in the comments. <laughs> just saying. Uh, now I'm gonna take this charmed shade up here. It's like darker. And I'm going to run it this way. Under the eye. The next thing that I have been loving in the month of March. This Endless Silky Eye Pencil from Pixie in the shade Lilac my mascara which i is again another favorite this is the l'oreal um volume lash volume something like that but it's the one in this like sink pink silvery tube pink gold whatever chromatic pink chromatic tube um and it is so like it lengthens it separates it lifts it does it all I don't have to, ow, I don't have to, that was my elbow. Honey, well, I'm not funny, guys. I need a coffee break now. Okay. Try this again. I'm not poking myself in the eye today. That's a March fail. Poking myself in the eye, don't recommend, don't do that. Although I usually do it every single time I do my nose. Oh, yes I do. I'll put a picture up on the screen here. It's the B Flat um, Belly Cream. It's like, I got it in a FabFitFun. So it's like this, from what I gathered, it's supposed to like help your stretch marks and like cellulite and like, you know, get the tummy back together from having babies, right? I opened it. I tried it, one pump on camera, and I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm going to use this because I need this. Took a shower, and I, I, like, used the recommended amount it says to on the bottle. Oh, my God. I felt like my stomach was on fire. Like, I needed to go turn the cold water on and scrub my stomach to get this cream off, and it didn't take the sensation of the burning away. 
I literally couldn't see the flames and I was confused. That's how much I didn't like this. <laughs> so I don't recommend that product unless you have like thick skin. But for me, anything that heats up on the skin, icy hot, um, those warming, like <sighs> those warming gels that your partner may have used one time. Oh my God, no. Anything warming like that any type of warming sensation on my body anywhere, even, even like a heat pack, it hurts. It is like flaming, burning pain to me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of my EDS or, or because my like nerves are sensitive or what, but I don't recommend unless you got thick skin and you know that's something you can handle. Like if you like that kind of feeling, if you're like, yeah, warming lube give it to me warm <laughs> warming hot packs give it to me icy hot yeah that's not hot enough you know tiger bombs that's where it's at if that's you then maybe you'll love this buy it go for it but it's 49 dollars retail and that's just too much money for me to use it one time and then hate it so i'm happy that i got it in the fat that fun to be able to try it because i would see that on a shelf and be like yes yes absolutely yes without reading the bottle no no and then my last favorite for the month of march is this dominique cosmetics um creamy fill and define lip liner in the shade crush it's gorgeous and it's like my perfect shade match i love it my lips have been so dry lately just from like the season change. And we are good. Oh, I really like this too. This is the Tower 28 Save Your Skin um, spray. It's, it's so fresh. It smells like pool water and I love that smell. Um, I know that sounds really weird, but I like, I like that pool water smell. So some people do, some people don't. I do. I do. And it like, I don't know if you're supposed to use it in your hair, but I don't see why you couldn't because it's an all natural spray. It's fragrance free and alcohol free. So I don't understand why you wouldn't be able to, um, use this in your hair, like just as like a refreshing curl spray. So I'm going to Oh, I, just because I slept in my curls last, I slept in my curls like I can take them out. <gasps> I uh, didn't take a shower this morning, so like, let's see what happens. No, maybe not. It kind of added like some texture, not so nice texture, but whatever. It did bring the curl back. Anyways, guys, listen to me ramble for like five more minutes, maybe, but I'm excited to go get Daisy and Donkey, so I'm going to go. Um, these were my faves and fails for the month, month, March, March, I can speak. Oh, you know what else? I got one of these and I really like this. It's a cuticle nail clipper and it's, I'm sorry, a cuticle nipper and it's um, a rubberized grip. I actually don't have it down here, but this is the package for it. It's pink and it's beautiful and I love it. I was able to get some ingrown toenails that my husband had. It was gross. I loved it. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna shut up and go get my turkeys. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. If you um, want to see more, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Stick around, join our little family that I have going here because it's like super fun and I love you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, bye.